Hey everybody, Tyler again here. Just making another breakfast shake. Um, more morning ritual stuff. Got a couple things to talk about, nothing too crazy or fancy. But anyways, I ran out of my old way. It was, um, oh, it was BSN Synthesis, but it was their mass protein or whatever. I just liked it because it tasted good. I've got a new one today that I am opening fresh. It's always awesome opening new supplements. Eh, all I ever take really is just whey protein, a little bit of creatine, and uh, pre-workout. That's about it. Nothing nothing too crazy. Can't get on that supplement train. It's mostly food. Just gotta eat food. Um, I'm also gonna try Halo Top ice cream for the first time. There we go. I'm gonna try this Halo Top ice cream for the first time. It's been out for a while, heard about it, and then now I actually got someone to try it. It is cookies and cream because, well, that's the best ice cream in the world. It is my favorite, and that's actually what this is. It's cookies and cream as well. It's good stuff. And, uh, no, so I'm making my shake. Uh, going to the gym later tonight. Uh, it's bench day again. Ooh, the spoon is on top. The scoop that is always at the bottom of the bucket that you can never get is uh, on top, and that's like a blessing. So, two big scoops of that. Uh, but no, today's bench day. Today I'm at 280, 280 pounds, and I'm, I would like to get fives again because that'd be kind of awesome just to go up to 285. But I don't know, we'll see how it goes. It's it's really a day by day basis. It depends on how I feel. If I feel weak, if I feel strong, if I'm having a good day. Like, that fuzz. Like uh, last week, and I benched, or I benched, um, it was just a few days ago actually, I squatted 3 to 85 for a single. I was having a really good day. And I take a crappy day, that's not going so well. You know, mainly be able to squat, you know, 315, and that feels awful. Like I deadlifted the other day. I can deadlift 405. I've done it for singles. I've done it for doubles. And uh, I tried 365 the other day for a triple, and it like killed me. Also, these strawberries, these strawberries that come in this package from Walmart, I haven't ate these before because I'm kind of scared of them. They're a little, um, I don't know, they're terrifying. They're not supposed to be this big. That's an unnat. That's my ear. That's a strawberry. It's an unnatural size strawberry unless there's some you know crazy strawberries that grow this way normally i think it's a monsanto thing but um i should just leave the greens on there go full caveman and eat all of it but uh this i usually use like a strawberry and a half but really this is probably enough strawberry for uh for all of it, it smells good it smells like strawberry i'm just gonna put one in there because that's, I've got some frozen ones too. Uh, I tried to use frozen, more frozen fruit in my shakes in the morning. I need to start throwing it, I, I need to start throwing it vegetables too, because um, can't have a big fruit smoothie, because that's not good. I don't put much fruit in there. Just enough to, to kind of make the whey uh, a little more drinkable. Um, but no, so yeah, good days and bad days in the gym. It's not always, not always gonna be awesome. I've gone in and had amazing days and done way more lifts than I ever thought I would. Also, not so much blueberries because it turns out this giant bluish purple looking thick smoothie and it's way too much blueberry. <laughs> um, these are awesome. I ate these by themselves. Uh, but no, also, uh, I'm going to try out the going to try out the ice cream, see how it goes. Um, and then I've also got something I found in the cabinet yesterday. I was cleaning out the cabinet before I was cooking. We cooked um, a whole bag of sweet potatoes. We cubed them up or thick sliced them. We'll cube them next time. So it'll cooks a little better, I think. But um, no, we did, here's a strawberry. They don't give you very many strawberries in here. Um, they're cheap on the strawberries. But we cubed up some sweet potatoes and then cooked pork chops. The sweet potatoes are amazing in the oven. You bake them, put a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of um, either avocado or extra virgin olive oil, 
Yeah, I think it was avocado oil we used last night, but it was amazing. Things turn out way better. Usually I just uh, microwave them uh, and then take all the guts out and make little mashed potato globs with it. And it's all weird consistency. It's, it's like a, kind of like a softer Play-Doh. And uh, it's just different. Not a big, I like it. Just not a big fan of it. Microwave potatoes, they turn out kind of different. <laughs> Also, shaved my head last night again. I did it all by myself. Didn't have anybody help me. Megan didn't didn't help get the hard hard the ah, <laughs> didn't get the hard spots the spots I can't see. Using a little mirror is really hard to see. The, it's good to see the back of your head, but you can't shave at the same time because you're trying to fight like. You can't get the angles right. Your brain's telling you to do this, but you're just slowly turning the wrong direction. It's really hard, especially when you got moles and you really just grip it and go. You just try not to shave off the back of your head. But no, it turned out really good. It took a while because I did it by myself. And there's a patch right there. But that's probably growing in from last night. My hair grows fast. Um, but no, it's it's smooth. I, I nicked my big mole again, just a little bit though, not bad. I, I nicked the bump in the back of my head, which was not awesome. Uh, it looked like a murder scene while I was shaving. Always smell the milk, you never know. Uh, I've had bad instances with good milk. Milk that was supposed to be good, that I trusted. That's plenty of milk. Yeah, we're good. Um, milk that was good, way within a day. And it's awful. <laughs> it's, it's bad. Anyways. I'll blend this up after the video, so because I'm not, I don't know how to edit yet. I've got editing software. I tried it. I can't figure it out. I don't think my computer is strong enough to process it right. Because when I go to, when I go to edit, when I go playback, it's choppy. It doesn't load correctly. I don't know if it transferred bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna upload a small video to the software and see if I can edit that one. See if it comes out smoother. Because the last one was like 18 minutes long. And I was like, screw it, I'll just upload it, leave it back, whatever. You watch it, watch it, you don't, you know, who cares. Um, but anyway, so yeah, um, this stuff. I was cleaning out the cabinet behind me. Uh, all of our spices and flavorings and whatnot are in there. And uh, I found Kool-Aid. Not just any Kool-Aid, Fruit Punch Kool-Aid. I hate Fruit Punch Kool-Aid. I don't like Fruit Punch the reason why I don't like fruit punch flavoring at all, pre-workouts, uh, I've had some creatine as a kid that was like fruit punch flavored. It was, it was a odd sentence. Fruit punch flavored phrase. Uh, that was basically mostly sugar and a tiny bit of creatine. It was junk. Walmart stuff. Anyways, it all stems from this stuff right here. As a kid growing up, most of you might know some of you did, some of you didn't. Most, of you, some of you might have been lucky and got like, got it to sit in the fridge for it's cold, for it to be cold or or getting ice put in it. No, 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 no. You get a big giant bucket, <laughs> you get a big giant tea pitcher, whatever. Put a bunch of this in there, put some tap water in it that you hope is cold enough to where it's drinkable, and then throw a bunch of sugar in there. Stir it up for a minute. Wait, here you go. It is. It's a staple of my childhood, and it's awful. <laughs> you get these big, giant red rings in your face because the cups are huge and you're a tiny person. And yeah, it's, Ugh, it's awful. As for some nostalgia, I might have a cup in the future, but I doubt it. Um, so that stuff brought back like terrible flashbacks when I opened the drawer and saw that. Um, spoon because I've been wanting to try this for a while um, I've seen it at Walmart I'm, I'm really late to Ooh, it's open it smells like ice cream I love bluebell come from Texas bluebell is the bomb and I've had some ice cream that's actually better but I don't speak about that anyways I've heard about this stuff for a while I think I heard it on Rogan's podcast and uh, they were talking about it and uh, it seems to be cool it's like a protein powder ice cream or something I don't know I've heard good and bad things, but everybody's, you always hear bad reviews about stuff. It's people just, I spilled some. Oh my God. It's melting quick. Kind of because it's 73 degrees in the house. 
What cheat did I have? So, oh, oh, it tastes like fruit punch because I opened that. Yeah, it's terrible. Um, but no, um, cookies and cream is awesome. I love protein powder. Um, this is supposed to be some kind of a 320 calories per pint. I'm not gonna eat the whole pint. Uh, normally I would because I'm like that. Five grams of protein, six grams of sugar, 16 grams of carbohydrates. A half of a cup is a serving. You can eat half of this. No, that's you should just throw the lid away because. Also, props to Halo Top. Yeah, Halo Top. It's not just the lid and then ice creams where you get like gross stuff on top of the lid and it like oozes out. They put a clear pop top thing on top of it and it's awesome. Anyways, this is. It kind of doesn't act like normal ice cream. Mmm. It's cold. It's different. It's not bad. The consistency is like freezer burnt ice cream. It kind of like dissolves in your mouth in like a weird wet sand kind of a feel. Um, yeah. It dissolves really fast. Or it melts really because it's frozen. It um it's good. It's not Culver's, but it's good. I think Culver's ice cream. I think it's an ice cream place. Mmm. Alright. Enough of that. I'm gonna Oh that's cold. I'm gonna mix up my shake. Um protein shake. Um Watch a little YouTube, play a little Xbox, uh, do some more laundry around the house, clean up a little bit. I'm off tomorrow, but not Thursday, so I only got one day off this week, which is actually good because I need the money. <laughs> I'm missing my overtime. Um, oh, yeah, also rocking a, a classic Fly the Concord shirt. Huge fan of them. Uh, I was actually jamming them last night while I was washing dishes. Um, but no, this shirt doesn't fit. I don't wear it in public, it's tiny, it stops at my waist. And it's not good. It fits good on my body, though. But it's just tiny. I ordered it too small because I'm retarded. Um, but no, so I'm out. I will see y'all guys later. Be so. Oh, yeah, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, comment, um, whatever. All right, bye. Hit the stop button. <laughs>